Welcome back to Base Sunday. I'm Elizabeth Cook. It's been 40 years since Diane von Furstenberg created that signature dress that made her a fashion icon. Now, the woman known simply by her initials, DVF, is telling her incredible story in a new memoir, The Woman I Wanted to Be, and she is mentoring a new generation of DVF girls in her reality show, House of DVF. Diane, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank your you. Men, your memoir was so interesting, and what I thought was so compelling is that you started off talking about your mother and what an impact well, she had on Well, actually, I started to write the book because I wanted to tell my mother's story. Mm -hmm. And then as I was thinking about it, and I realized that so much of her story expla explains the woman I became. Uh, my mother was a prisoner of war. Um, she, at the age of 22, she was in a Nazi concentration camp. When she survived, she weighed 49 pounds. So, and she taught me fear is not an option, and she taught me that never to be a victim, and she really wanted me to be independent. So, um, so I am who she wanted me to be, actually. Amazing. You know, when reading your book, it's a little bit like what I would imagine it would be like to sit down and have lunch with you. It's very intimate. It's very candid. And you're very open about your successes and, and your mistakes as well. Well, I think it's important to explain your, to show your vulnerabilities. And I've never gone to therapy. And for me to write this book was like doing a therapy. And, uh, and to talk about your weakness and your failures are important. I hope it's still glamorous, though. It absolutely okay. is. I think every, right. every girl that reads this book is going to wish that they were you. <laughs> oh, well, well, we all do that to one another. But I mean, I, at the end, it is, you know, I really didn't want to do a glorifying thing. I wanted to write the book because I'm at, at an age that I look back and I see the experiences and I see my journey. And I think that a lot, if I speak really truthfully, then I can help other young women mm -hmm. or not so young women. Sure. It's been 40 years, I can't believe it, since the debut of the <coughs> wrap dress. When you first created it, when you were in that, that room and you were trying on all these different samples and you found a dress that worked, did you know, you know what, I think I have something really special here. I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, and, and it's only, and, and, I, and I started to show the dresses and no one really understood very much. It's Diana Breland who really said, this is genius. And I said, really? And um, so, no, I had no idea. But you don't know. When you live something, you don't really know, if, you know, if it, I mean, how can you guess that it will have an impact that generation after generation, it's always the daughters that bring the mothers back. That's pretty amazing for a dress. Absolutely. And speaking of generations, you have this new reality show, House of DVF. Let's take a look at it real quick and see what it's all about. The table. No way. So we need to invent a 14. Well, if it is one of our girls, it's the one in DVF. Thank you. Okay. I really don't care what happens between the girls. Brittany looked great. I picked her to sit at the table. That's it. Well, Brittany's actually from San Francisco, which is kind of she a nice is. little local tie. She is. She's actually here. I'm going to meet her mother. Oh, wonderful. And her grandmother today. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. You know, you're mentoring this group of, of, of very young women that are all aspiring to be just like you. What do you want to teach them? What do you want them to walk away from this? You know, I, 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 don't, I, I don't want to be patronizing. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I mean, I think the most important thing, as the title says, is you can be the woman you want to be, not the woman that I want you to be. I mean, all we can do is, is you know, share our experiences and give advice if they want it, but at the end, it's, it's you know, it's your responsibility of yourself is the most important thing. And the relationship you have with yourself is the most important relationship in life. Absolutely. If you could tell yourself when you were their age, if you could speak to I your know, yourself, what would you say? I know. Everyone says that. Everyone asks me that. And really, you know, I, you know, even though I'm old and I am a grandmother and everything, I, I still am the same person I was then. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's why I relate so much to, to young girls. I, I remember, I remember that moment where you, you push the first doors. Mm -hmm. And that's what 
I, you know, that's what this TV show is about. Is uh, what I want to do. Some, a lot of those shows objectify the women, and I want to empower women. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. But those doors, that first door. You remember that first door you pushed? There's many doors you have All to right. push. <laughs> that's right. One last question. What's next for you? What do you see on the horizon for DBF? Um, what's next for me is really, you know, to we have now, now is the era of legacy. Obviously, if you, if a brand, you know, once a brand hits 40, then you are legitimate somehow. And, and uh, so it's just, you know, bring in new blood and design and in everything so that make sure that you appeal to the you know, as it comes, and yet you maintain the heritage. So for me, it was a lot of carving into the DNA so that it can last well after me. Well, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. For more information on everything <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg, log on to dvf.com. That's dvf.com. We'll be right back with more Bay Sunday. That's very nice to plug in. <laughs>